In this week's video, we're still on the Sunshine Coast and we head up to Burnett Falls Park to photograph Burnett Falls and along the way argue whether it's called Burnett or Brunette. So follow along and find out what it actually is. Burnett Falls. Not Brunette. Brunette. <laughs> Burnett. There's search and rescue coming for me. Okay, so after much great debate, we decided we would uh, just take the short walk, well, it was a short drive first, to Burnett Falls Park. It says this is only like 500 meters, the walk to the falls. The falls look pretty nice. Um, probably just uh, keep this on the last video so if I said goodbye in the last video I'll just delete it and say it again because this isn't going to be much of a hike it's just a fairly flat path well it's uphill but you can see it behind me it's just a fairly flat trail no really nice trees or anything to show you so we'll make our way in here it is steadily uphill but it said it was only 500 meters, so I know I can do it. Have faith in me, right? Nice little picnic bench. So that little viewpoint, I'll flip the camera on, let you have a look. Okay, so I don't know why. There's just a little, <laughs> it's not really a viewpoint, it was just a little path for some reason. Not sure why. So we'll keep going up this little trail. Seems to have peaked as far as the uphill is concerned. I think I can hear the falls, so we're the only ones here, nobody else in the parking lot, so I was worried about people swimming in the falls, but I don't think there's going to be anybody here. Unless you know something I don't know and they got dropped off. Anyway, we'll make our way down this path. That keeps going for a while, so I'll film once we kind of get closer to the falls. Burnett. Not brunette. Brunette. <laughs> okay, I hear the falls. They're almost there. Oh, there it is. That's a pretty nice falls. Kind of cute. Kind of a cute brunette. <laughs> no? <laughs> cute brunette. No? No. You knew that joke was coming. Okay, we've arrived at uh, a viewing platform. I'll we'll flip the camera on, let you have a look. There's search and rescue coming for me. Well, here we are. We're not false. Actually, it's really nice. Beautiful little spot. All right, I'm gonna. I think this will be a pretty fairly straightforward composition on this one. It's not really uh, too much to put in the foreground. It would be a straight shot, but let's get set up and get a shot in the bag. All right, so I ended up going with a vertical. I'll show you the back of the camera here. Um, I just, the, um, the horizontal had too much, I'll show you, it had too much of this in it, it, it uh, was really busy. So I cropped into a vertical uh, just to take out some of all that unwanted stuff. I kept the ferns on the left hand side in there, um, and those logs coming in from the right look kind of cool, and I got that wall in the background. I did four exposures, uh, started at 
plus one, I think, exposure compensation. Yeah, plus one. And uh, then minus one and minus two and minus three, just because it's really uh, extreme high dynamic range. I, I think it is anyway. Uh, I've got all four exposures anyway. The back wall back there is uh, really dark. Um, and then as you get out, these ferns are like in direct sunlight, so it's pretty tough to uh, get it all in one exposure. So I just did uh, four shots and uh, all exposure blend them. And if they turn out half decent, here's a shot of Burnett Falls. As well, I, um, I threw the 100 to 400 on and punched in really close to uh, into that detail down there. Um, I didn't shoot it like that, I shot it uh, horizontal, or sorry, I shot it vertical. Uh, yeah, it was a vertical shot. Just of that kind of where the water meets, it makes that V there, I thought it was nice detail in there. Um, shot it at around a quarter of a second or something, so um, and here's that one now. So I did some wandering around and there is this trail that goes down to the bottom of the falls, but I looked at the bottom of the falls from on the top. It's so busy and so covered in logs that I don't really think, and this is so steep, we don't have, run, uh, we're in flip-flops. I'll show you just a second of what, what the trail looks like. So just heads down here, but I'll show you the base of the falls. It's like, it's so, this is so steep for flip-flops. Oh, I'm slipping already. Um, and the base of the falls is so, like, just look at the mess. I don't really see too much point in uh, going, oh, foot full of dirt now, ouch. Yeah, you can see here a bit better what I mean. The base of the falls is just a, uh, a mess of logs and I don't even know if this trail makes it up there. It does go down but I think it just goes down to the river. I didn't even see a way through. You can see it's so so much deadfall here. I don't know if you could get up there. I don't think I'll bother. All right well Two waterfalls in a day is pretty good. There is a waterfall in Roberts Creek too. I don't know uh, if we're gonna make it there today or not, but let's see. Maybe we can get uh, three falls in a day. Hmm? Some nice mossy trees in here. So, I guess we got the shot from here pack up our stuff and head out. Okay, uh, time to head out of here. I did want to show you a trick, uh, if you don't know already, uh, how to get a nice long exposure with your iPhone. Um, so what you do is you get it as steady as you can. You can do it handheld if you've got steady hands, otherwise get a little tripod. And um, put your iPhone, you can do it vertical or horizontal. Make sure you're in live mode and take two quick shots back to back within just almost as fast as you can uh, click the trigger or click the switch. And then go to the top left corner where it says live mode, click on that, 
and then a drop down menu will come down and you'll see the button for long exposure and it'll combine those two photos and make a long exposure and uh, here's the one I just did from uh, here at Burnett Falls I'll throw it up now again this is just from the iPhone So if I don't make it to Roberts Creek, then well, I'll make it to Roberts Creek, but if I don't find the falls, then that's it. And uh, have a good day. Like and subscribe. Tell your friends about these ridiculous videos. And leave a comment down below. And uh, hopefully you're enjoying the Sunshine Coast as much as we are. Take care, everybody. See you on the next one. Bye.